Welcome to Disney's Grand Californian Hotel. We are staying in a king bed downtown Disney view room. This is a room type I've always wanted to stay in because I've always seen it while walking through downtown Disney. I've always looked up and seen the balconies and been like, hey, that would be really cool to be able to uh, have a room just above downtown Disney. You sit outside, watch the crowd go by, and the energy at night might be fun. So here we are in the entry area. It does have this nice nook here where you can put some bags if you wanted. It's pretty spacious. Here we I'll step away so you have a better idea of how much room you actually have there. It's quite a bit. A couple bags could fit there. But that's why you pay all this money for all this room. Here's a nice thematic light up there. We have a place to hang our coats and masks and all sorts of things uh, here at the entry. And then... Um, you're going to notice if you if you watch the Walt Disney World room tours, the recent remodeled ones, um, everything's following a pattern. There are some differences here, but you're going to notice a lot of fixtures and things are very similar to things in other new rooms at other Disney resorts all around the world. They're all just doing mostly the same thing. So this unit here is going to look super familiar. Obviously, they're, they're themed to each resort, so they're a little different. Um, so you're going to notice closet coffee station, fridge, usual setup. This is nice because you have this full length uh, double mirror on the doors. Hi everyone. Um, and if we pop this open, there's a light inside, which is great. Love that. And it's a nice big wide closet. None of this separated sections that, that seems to happen in a lot of them. Um, you just have lots of room to hang things. Um, you got a couple of hangers here. I'm sure you could ask for more if you need, because you do have plenty more room, honestly. Um, themed laundry bag, that's great. Uh, ironing board. The iron's hiding down there with the extra bedding. Uh, we have a safe, a nice big one, the tall, the tall boy. Uh, there's a luggage rack. Yeah, here you go. Have to close that up. We have the, so the nice thing about the mini fridge, not only is it uh, the glass front, but also this is a metal lattice uh, front. So you can see through both of these to know if you have stuff sitting in this mini fridge or not. I assume we have coffee supplies, yes. Keurig, uh, ice bucket cups, and then uh, Somewhat thematic backdrop. I hear our bags have arrived. She's explaining to them that I'm weird and I have to film the room first. So yeah. Um, here's the bathroom. We have the double vanity. So we have two sinks. Uh, we have some toiletries here. Uh, body lotion, shower cap. There's a shoe mitt and a facial soap. Tissues are here. It's nice to have two sinks. So the bags arrived, I had to deal with that. I had to give them the ticket, which was in the room, but we're back. So yes, here we have a nice big area with the, the double sink vanity here. A nice big uh, illuminated mirror. There is an illuminated makeup mirror as well. Um, toiletries include the shower cap, uh, body lotion, shoe mitt, and facial soap. It does look like more should be there. It's just not. Uh, tissues are there. Again, we have two sinks, which is always nice to have. There's a nice big ledge under this giant mirror. Uh, we have some outlets there. Uh, towels, lots of towels. This is the light switch, which does have a, you can control the power of that lighting. Uh, and under here we have a uh, basket for towels, which always a nice touch. I hate just throwing towels on the floor. This is really cute for the kids. Or, or Allison, who does our live stream, who's very short. Uh, <laughs> there's this cute little Mickey step stool down there, the garbage. Uh, you have some cubbies, which has the hair dryer. I see there's an extra uh, toilet paper roll uh, sitting down there as well. And now to the bathroom, let's look at this door. You have a rolling door, sliding door, excuse me, to come into this uh, small but pleasant bathroom. Um, what does Tom love? Toilet art. This is top five. Top five toilet art. Chippendale picking oranges, which we'll see more of that in the rest of the room. Uh, nice wallpaper pattern. 
lots of towels. Uh, the tile's pleasant too, it's nice. It's a nice bathroom. And then we have the shower, which we're gonna, ooh, that was hard to open. Pop that open. We have some nice tile work in here. Nice big shaving ledge or seat if someone needs it while they shower. Um, we got this really interesting square shower head. That's the removable one that just leaked all over me. Uh, conditioner, shampoo, and body wash. I'm glad they're not doing the mounted amenities here. This is expensive enough. Like if you want to take a little bit of uh, shampoo home with you, you should be able to. Um, we have the faucets, hot and cold, and then switch between um, that shower head and the rainfall uh, shower head, waterfall, whatever it's called. I always forget. Nice tile. It's a yeah. It's it's, it's pretty. I mean, it's pretty sizable in the shower. Yeah, lots of room there. It's nice. It's a nice space. Um, not huge, but but uh, colorful and pleasant. You know how much I hate the pure white bathrooms, which we have at a lot of, a lot of resorts. All right, here we are in the bedroom. Faintly, you could hear the background music from Downtown Disney. Which is nice. That's, that's why you want to stay in the middle of the action, right? That's, that's what the Grand California's about. You're right next to, you can have California Adventure View, you can have Downtown Disney View. You're in the middle of everything and it spills into the room, which is, it's great for those of us who are not really looking to get away. We're looking to immerse ourselves in where we've traveled to. We like coming here. We're happy to be in it the whole time we're here. Um, so this is, uh, it's a very pretty headboard. I like the, I gotta say the art looks better than it did. I wasn't a fan of it in the pictures. It's actually really cute. Um, so this is wallpaper, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. It's wallpaper. And then this is actually on the wood. It's very pretty. And I like it changes. It goes from the wood art to the wallpaper. Uh, and the art continues on. It's nice. Um, both sides get a nice big end table, um, two USB and two standard outlets up here. Again, you have that ability to control the power of the lighting, how bright you want it, the brightness. Um, there's a shelf, uh, like cubby and a, and a drawer there. Um, obviously newer Disney rooms, we got lots of room to store stuff under the bed if you'd like. Um, I like that it's not the usual. I like that it's its own bed frame. It's it's not the... At Disney World, I feel like all the bed frames look identical. This one at least matches the style of everything in the room, which is nice for the for the amount you're spending. It's nice. Uh, there's some more outlets down here. Uh, we have an alarm clock with some USB outlets, two more USB outlets up there. Um, there are two more standard there, but one of the, they're both covered by this giant block for the alarm clock but you have lots of outlets in this room i don't think you'll have any shortage i love this art this is great uh this is uh walt and his daughters visiting griffith park uh, obviously the hotel celebrates california and this has happened in california there's the griffith park carousel where walt famously came up with the idea for disneyland there should be a place where both the kids and the parents can have fun together and the rest is history. And this is this is a fun piece. Matches the style of stuff at the hotel. Great for there's a lot of fun references for, for hardcore Disney fans, which is great. But then there's also stuff for people that maybe aren't into all that, right? People they're just familiar with the cartoons. Chip and Dale. We have Bambi over here. There's something for everyone, which is how I think all these rooms should be. I think a little something for everybody. Everybody's happy. Everyone thinks the room's charming. Uh, but then still thematic to the hotel, which we have these touches like the, the stained glass lights, which we'll go look at the one over there, which is my favorite. We're going back and forth a lot. I'm very excited about this room. Uh, so here's the, there's just a lot of this countertop too. I don't know how I feel about it. There's a lot of this surface uh, in sequence here, but um, yeah, here's our workstation, chair. Uh, we have uh, garbage can recycling bin. Uh, there's a mirror there. Um, TV unit has a bunch of USB, four USB outlets under there, two standard. Uh, you have six drawers here, nice big drawers. Yeah, it's nice. 
Uh, the up lighting does a lot for this room too. This you can turn off independently. But I, I'm a big fan. That's a new trend. One of the new trend things I'm into is the up lighting. It adds a lot to all of these rooms. Another great thing is the bedding. It's actually uh, exclusive to the hotel. There's a uh, floor, uh, f uh, flower, if I could speak today, uh, flower pattern. Um, very reminiscent of a lot of the artwork around the hotel. Specifically, the Napa Rose logo. Uh, it reminds me of, um, but a lot of other things too in the, around the hotel. You have independent control of uh, these lights as well. Um, so this this shuts off the up lighting, but then uh, on these you can go as dim or as bright as you want on those. Uh, there's a chair over here. I don't believe the chair opens, right? Gonna make sure. Oh, it does. Okay, we're gonna we gotta come do that. We'll come back to that. We showed you the Bambi art. This lamp is fantastic. Love this lamp. I love lamp. Very pretty actual stained glass. Great, great design. Great design inspired by the arts and crafts movement. But we got flowers all over the curtain here. That one just has like a shiny pattern. Works well. Okay, so over here we have a sofa that's going to open as well. So we're going to have to do this too. It's worth noting there's carpet. I know a lot of people love the carpet. I love when they do the split, right? Because I don't need the carpet down here in the entry and near the bathroom. I do want it in this area. And they've done that and it's nice, nice green color. Again, a lot of color in the room, which, you know, I love that. Um, so yeah, the, the other great thing, I talked about a lot of great Disney references. There's some fun stuff happening up here. Uh, Hyperion Fruit, King of Valencia's, packed by Los Angeles County Orange Growers Association, grown in the USA. Obviously, Hyperion is where one of uh, Walt's studios was. Um, also, this was an orange grove. Disneyland was built on an orange grove. Silver Lake brand uh, Citrus, distributed by Buena Vista Growers Incorporated, Los Angeles, California. Quality California product. Uh, my personal favorite, the Retlaw California Oranges. Retlaw is Walter Backwards and a division uh, of the company that was very important in the parks and resorts. Retlaw. Um, what else is out here? Grown and packed with care by the J.B. Lindquist. Oh, it's very cute. It's a Jack Lindquist reference. Companies, Anaheim, Orange County, California, USA products. These are great. These are some... These are some deep cuts, and they're sitting in the middle of guest rooms. I approve. Okay, so let's open this thing. I actually cut my hand. I'm not giving you guys a finger. Um, I cut my hand on this earlier, so we're going to be careful. Um, the fun thing is the reason I stopped recording the last time was because I accidentally uh, brushed my hand on the blanket. There's a little bit of blood on it. Um, I'm, having, I'm having a great day. I'm doing all right. Let's do this. Let's try not to cut ourselves. Sofa bed handle. We just pull down. There we go. And we have some very cute Bambi art. Adorable. Uh, Thumper is having a nap in this log. Bambi and his uh, still alive mother. <laughs> That's a mean thing to say. <laughs> you got to joke about it. Bambi is one of my favorite movies. I love these characters. Uh, there's the birds above cleaning each other there's a a very full and content squirrel and then we got we got messy hair flower the skunk uh getting ready for some hibernation too um i like that so thumper and flower in the normal art style but then this this very um i don't know they're not drawn as cartoon characters bambi and the mother they're drawn maybe like someone would have you know who went out and observed some wildlife would have painted them, which is cool. Uh, this is this looks bigger than a lot of ones we've seen at other resorts where it is just the single sleeper that comes out of something. It looks wider to me. It may not be necessarily longer. Like I think my feet would hit, I'm six feet tall. My feet and head might uh, hit these two ends. Um, but anyone smaller than that, I, I think uh, you'll be fine here. Try not to get blood on it. That's a nice, it's a nice firm mattress. So you're not gonna have any bar or anything in your back, which is good. And then we got to open this 
Got to open this bad boy. Okay. Cushion off. Does that one? No. You don't even have to take that one off. Then we just move this flap. It's a lily jacket, it says. This is another small single sleeper. Probably if you... I, I feel like if you really needed these, you're probably just getting a room with two queen beds. But maybe you're like a group of friends and people just want their own sleeping space. Maybe this makes more sense in the king room. Um, but yeah, another single sleeper that pops out of there. It's a little narrow. It's real bouncy. <laughs> it's a lot of spring action going on here. I think, you know... If you're just traveling with kids, I think these these will be plenty comfortable. Um, adults may have a different result. But let's go look at the patio. Let's see what's going on. Oh, booty use playing. Uh, you see Space Mountain out in the distance. Um, I see Matterhorn out there. This is the Indiana Jones show building. Um, but then we've got all this traffic going by that we're right above the world of Disney. You can see the sign kind of. Really not so scary. Here we are right in the middle of everything here in downtown Disney. It's a nice wide patio, lots of room. I can step all the way in this corner to show you the two uh, nice padded patio chairs we have with a little table. It'd be nice to come up here, have, you know, we could run across to Salt and Straw, bring some ice cream back, sit up here, enjoy the view at night. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, you know, there's some nice little pockets here, so there's a, there's a good amount of room here. Um, I guess you'd be able to see fireworks from here. But yeah. This, again, is a king bed uh, downtown Disney View room at the Grand Californian Hotel here at the Disneyland Resort.